Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? What are they thinking or feeling about you or this connection? And what are their intentions for the near future? Uh, as always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's jump in for Cancer Spirit. Angels, guides, guidance, messages, please, for Cancer, for the sign of Cancer, for Cancer Spirit. What's going on for Cancer in love? Secret admirer and sweet dreams. You've caught someone's eye. Your dreams are becoming reality, but I'm also getting uh, something isn't really real for some reason so this could be that this is someone you've never been in a connection with or have never had a successful connection with or perhaps this is something that someone's just imagining um as they secretly watch you or as they keep tabs on you and it was funny as i was shuffling and you know thinking of your energy your sign you know i always like to kind of tap into an energy right as i start the reading and i couldn't find you I know that probably doesn't sound like something that makes sense. If you're watching this and you've never done uh, tarot or you've never had, you know, a spiritual uh, connection or, you know, I don't even know what I can call what I do. But basically, I couldn't find you. So I, it was hard to find you, almost like you were hiding or almost like cancers are kind of in protection mode, like hiding in your shell. And I'm trying to figure out why. Okay, let me keep going. <laughs> what else for cancer? What's going on for cancer and love? What's going on for cancer and love? Tell me more for cancer. Yeah, it feels cold. You, um, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, heart to heart conversations at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you don't have a connection with this person. Whoever this is, it's like watching from afar. Um, maybe you are far away from this person. Maybe there's a physical distance between you. Um, or just like it's like cold. Like, the, like if this is someone from the past, it would be really like years let's see what all this means for you cancer guidance messages please for cancer what do we need to know about cancer in love sign of cancer messages guidance pleasure love in love such weird energy Tell me about the secret admirer energy. What, why is the secret admirer energy here? What's this about? What's this about spirit? Nine of cups. Tell me more about secret admirer. Tell me more, spirit, please, about the secret of my energy. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is someone being sneaky. And then look what I have at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. So it's almost like I'm getting distance. But I wonder why. I don't know if you left this person or if they left you, Cancer. Feel free to flip the roles during this reading um, if it resonates more for you. With the Nine of Cups, it's almost like someone's really like picturing, um, picturing, I guess, a future with you or success with you. This person's like sitting around by themselves and I feel like they're just kind of like daydreaming here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm and, and I feel like this person can't do this out in the open. 
tell me about sweet dreams all the decks that I use by the way are in the description box tell me about sweet dreams About sweet dreams, please. Why is sweet dreams here? King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Can I get one more for sweet dreams? King of Swords. Okay. Oh, oops. Tell me about this express your. What is going on with my deck? Two cards fell out. We have the Fool and the Lovers. Wow. New love, um, a new beginning in a partnership. Gemini energy with the Lovers. A risk. Uh, someone expressing how they feel. I feel like whoever is kind of watchful here or daydreaming here, it's almost like they want to express how they feel. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Resistance. Maybe they fear resistance when they come in. There's a Knight of Swords. Almost as if, like, perhaps uh, someone's guard will be up regarding this truth. So let's look at these in more detail. I'm going to use my little clarifier deck here. Spirit, tell me more for cancer. Clarity, please, for cancer. Something that goes into these energies for cancer. I don't know why you have distance from this person. I don't know if it's on purpose, Cancer. Like if you've distanced yourself or what. But yeah, there's the world. You know, it's this is about something new. Some, yeah, and the High Priestess reverse and then the Moon reverse. A reveal of some sort. Revealing feelings. Revealing um, something that's been hidden. Um, expressing something that's been hidden here. It's the opposite of secrets, the opposite of what's hidden. Pisces energy. Tell me about this Nine of Cups with the Seven of Swords. What's this about with the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords? <laughs> the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Cups. <laughs> Can I get one more? Nine of Cups with the Seven of Swords. Why is this energy here for Cancer? Six of Wands, Reverse. Six of Swords, Reverse fell out of the deck. And it's interesting because I'm getting these two are opposite energies. The Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands, Reverse. Uh, Nine of Cups is usually someone that is enjoying their success. Uh, celebrating their hard work. Very proud of themselves, the Nine of Cups. And then the Six of Wands reverse. This is a card about delayed success or something that's not successful, not being recognized for your success. So these are a very opposite energy. So what this is telling me is, again, dream versus reality. Can I get one more for Nine of Cups? Seven of Swords, please. Tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords, please. Three of Cups reverse. And then the five of wands reverse. So this could be um, a situation where there's multiple people involved. I'm also getting, um, there could have been conflict with this person in the past or conflict that someone has been dealing with that has kept them apart from you, whether you know that or not, you know? So for example, this could be somebody you've never met before, but they're going through some sort of difficulty right now in their life that's delaying their approach or their arrival. I feel like there's a delayed reunion or a reunion that's not happening because again, I feel this like distance. 
And I feel like that because of this, this is someone like, for example, if this is someone you've never met before, they're imagining what their partner, ideal partner would be like. Um, if this is someone from your past, they're imagining what it would be like to be with you. Uh, this is a wish that they have, a desire. But the Seven of Swords is here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles. So this could be somebody being strategic because the Knight of Pentacles is not sneaky. They take forever though. Very careful, very methodical, very practical energy with the Knight of Pentacles. Someone that takes their time. Okay, so why the King of Cups and the King of Swords? These two to me are opposites. You know, I keep getting this like opposites theme. <laughs> Tell me about the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands reversed. Again, complete opposites. Complete opposites here. The Knight of Wands is a card about movement and moving quickly. And the Eight of Wands reversed is a card about completely being delayed or blocked. There's no movement, no progression. And there's the Ten of Wands. So yeah. Mm. I don't know. Some of you could be, well, I don't even want to say that. I don't want to say there's two people because I'm not really picking that up anywhere else. But it's almost like two sides of a person or um, dream versus reality. Uh, let's see if I can get more insight here because I I don't even feel like I can understand myself. <laughs> All right. Tell me about this King of Cups and King of Swords. Sometimes the message is not, you know, it's not for me to always understand the message, right? It's, I just need to interpret it. King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Okay, can I get one more for this? King of Cups. King of Swords, please. We have another king here. Interesting. And then the Hermit. Virgo Energy. The Hermit withdraws to think of their next steps, plan their journey, um, seek insight, seek enlightenment because they are needing to have help or guidance in order to move forward. Now the Nine of Wands is here. So guarded energy again, very similar to the Seven of Wands. I feel like this is someone that is like um, very defensive, but I don't know why. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Six of Pentacles, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Well, the Chariot is about movement. So I feel like someone does want to make some sort of a move, especially with the Knight of Wands here. Um, but they're prevented from doing so because then I have the Eight of Wands reverse. And the Hermit's touching this, so it's almost like maybe this is uh, communication that has been cut off, or there's no communication here. I feel like this is, this could be you that's guarded Cancer. I don't feel like you are on the same page with this person, possibly. And it's almost like this person's trying to choose which king to be. Like, it would not shock me if I shuffled a few more times and I got the King of Wands. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups reverse. Hmm. Why is a Hermit here? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands here? I am going to get to the bottom of this if it kills me. <laughs> what is the Knight of Wands here for Cancer? Strength reverse. Leo energy. 
Seven of Cups reverse, this is the opposite of fantasy. This is almost like a dream that has burst or an option has been chosen. An illusion's being seen clearly. The Ten of Pentacles reverse, yikes. Something must have happened um, in this person's life because I'm thinking of the Six of Wands here. It's like this person is not truly happy or satisfied or successful. And so I feel like they're trying to think of why that is or what they need to do about that. But the strength card is reversed with the Knight of Wands, which tells me this person doesn't have the courage to move. So I feel like this is a person and you know, this could be you as well, Cancer, that you're just not sure what approach to take. Should I be a king of swords, analytical, logical, decisive? Should I be a king of cups, nurturing, intuitive, in touch with my emotions, vulnerable? Should I be a king of pentacles, practical, logical, but in a more um, effort heavy way <laughs> so the king of pentacles is someone that you know he might not choose the quickest option but he's going to choose the option that will actually be something he's going to accomplish and then i feel like this is that hermit energy so it's like someone's trying to figure this out because maybe this has been a dream or a fantasy for so long something they've imagined but I feel like now they want to make it a reality. Okay, so I'm starting to understand this energy. Tell me about the fool and the lovers. Tell me about the fool and the lovers, please. There's the fool and the lovers here. Okay, tell me about the fool and the lovers. Yeah, four of swords reverse. Someone has waking up. Someone has done the reflecting, the thinking, the planning, the healing. Time to make a move. Oh, Ten of Wands. Okay. So I feel like someone's approaching the end of a cycle here with this Ten of Wands. Um, ten of Wands is a card about um, almost being at the finish line. You've been carrying a heavy load having a lot of things on your plate, a lot of obligations, responsibilities, maybe a lot of baggage, emotional baggage perhaps, and you're almost there. You're almost at the finish line where you can drop this load. And since I have the Fool here, that makes sense. So the Fool carries no baggage with him. He's, he packs very light. Why is the Fool here with the lovers? Queen of Cups reverse. Interesting. I was just going to say, where's the love? <laughs> the Hangman reverse, the Three of Swords reverse. So this is someone that possibly is healing from a disappointment, a heartbreak. Again, with a third party situation here, a third party energy, there could be a third party involved. Um, and maybe that's why there's secrecy. Someone should not be planning this or thinking about you in this way. Um, Hangman reverse, Four of Swords reverse. These are cards about no longer being stuck or sleeping, no longer reflecting. Again, this idea of action. But with the Queen of Cups reverse, interesting. It's like someone's still emotionally um, burdened, I feel. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So again, this um, energy of starting something, initi initiating something, planning something. But the Page of Wands actually will just go out there, even if things aren't perfect. Tell me about this, the moon reverse. Tell me about this three of swords reverse. So some sort of um, illusion that's no longer an illusion. Um, what was hidden is now revealed. A secret has come to the surface here or has come to light. Tell me about the three of swords reverse. Yeah, I feel like that a lot of you are dealing with a third party situation or someone's just um, healing from an uh, unhealthy situation with this double reverse Capricorn energy. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. It's interesting because I want to be like, this is third party energy, but I don't feel that very strongly. I don't think that's the real problem. Tell me about this Three of Wands. Six of Swords reverse, Eight of Swords. So again, I, I feel like someone's uh, delayed from making a move or fearful of making a move. 
It's almost like um, it's easier to dream, to fantasize, to imagine than it is to actually make this happen. Possibly because this moon reverse will cause some sort of a shock or surprise to someone. Tell me about the moon reverse. Tell me about the moon reverse. The lovers reverse. Gemini energy. Oh, this could cause a separation or disrupt something in terms of like a partnership or a friendship. Yeah, seven of swords reverse. This is something that's it's uh, the secret is out here. And I feel it has to do with love in some way or emotions in some way, like an emotional confession, perhaps. I feel like I'm not getting clear answers on this because this person themselves has no clue. They don't even know how to approach this. Um, I feel like they're all over the place energetically. They haven't even decided what to do. They, it's almost like they know they need to do something, <laughs> but they don't know what. And I feel like it's because maybe they've suppressed it. Maybe it's on in the back of their mind what they know they have to do. But that would require them to be brave, to take action, and to cause this shock, this reveal. Let's get some insight into this person. What do you need to know about this person? Spirit, tell me more about this person that Cancer is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? This person that Cancer is or will be dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about them? The person that Cancer is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? This person is a procrastinator, I feel. I'm just picking up something. Yeah, okay, there's a page of wands. See, again. <laughs> it's I'm getting like, yeah, and the Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So once again, you know, and I feel for whoever this is, um, there probably is a reason why they're so scared, uh, possibly because of the past, regrets over the past, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Maybe they feel guilty, you know, maybe they are anxious, fearful, because they don't know how this will work out with the Seven of Pentacles. And it's like they just want to kind of go out there, but I feel like their fear stops them. Tell me about this Page of Wands. Ten of Wands, yeah. So this person... It's like every time that they think about taking the initiative, something stops them. And it's whatever is this load, this baggage they carry. Death, Scorpio energy, yeah. This would need to be kind of like let go of here. This would need to be dropped. It needs to because it's preventing your person from doing what they want to do and what they need to do. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like they proc procrastinate in a way because... They're maybe not quite ready to do this. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. And again, Cancer, this could be somebody that you've never met before. Um, and this is something they need to do before love is introduced in their life or the partner they seek is introduced in their life. Or this could be a past person and they need to you know, address this. It, I, could, I do see it both ways. Tell me about the... Seven of Pentacles, okay. Whoa. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, so this is someone that's not happy, not satisfied, like I said earlier. Um, someone that's not really, you know, content. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and then we have the King of Cups. So I feel like they do think about an opportunity here, a, a better opportunity, something new. Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Page of Swords. Yeah, 
What would happen if I were to just say how I feel? There's the tower. That's that moon reverse energy. What would happen if I was bold enough to go after what I want? Knight of Cups, Page of Swords. If I, you know, expressed my emotions, if I was vulnerable, what would happen? Well, this would happen the tower. <laughs> I think they know. Um, so very interesting. So let's look at what you can expect, Cancer. What can you expect next? Spirit, what can Cancer expect next here? What can Cancer expect? What can Cancer expect? What can Cancer expect? In the near future. Oh, we have the Page of Wands, Queen of Wands. So action, communication. What can Cancer expect? next yeah knight of wands look at all this fire energy this is this is action this is communication bottom of the deck i have the eight of swords so take this with a grain of salt <laughs> um i feel like this would only happen if this person does not let their fear get in the way yeah the hangman after that at the bottom of the deck so just keep that in mind that this is completely dependent upon someone overcoming their fear and no longer being stuck tell me about this uh knight of wands eight of wands okay hold on tell me more about this knight of wands can i get some insight please into this knight of wands Ugh. this deck is too big for my hands okay five of cups Nine of Cups and the Lovers, similar energy. The goal is the same, basically. Now, it's interesting, the Five of Cups, regret, disappointment, a loss of some sort. You know, and again, I am picking up that some of you are dealing with a past person. This is a past person that has regrets over the past. But others of you, I feel like this person, their, their disappointment or their loss is on what they feel they're missing in their life 